Next step is we're going to take off our, our expandable with the forklift. What we'll do is we'll loosen up our brake crank handle, pull out the pin, open up our two brake levers on one on each side. Open that up. Now it's exposed. Now we'll put a strap through the expandable. Like so, then we'll bring a forklift in to pick it up. Okay. And once you have it strapped, we'll just lift it up. Right, but I try again on my Okay. Okay, go ahead and back out. Okay. All right, now once we get to this point, you want to establish which way your coil's feeding off to make sure we feed the material onto the machine correctly. You always want the material to come over the top towards the sheer end of the machine coming underneath. We'll slide it in. Okay, the next step is, is when we slide this through, you want to set your dimension up, which is in the manual. If you look up in the manual, where to set the edge of the material up to your... To the end of the arm. To the end of the arm. I'll set it like that. Okay. Then next, we'll just expand this up so it locks in the coil. Yes. And once you start getting it tight, go back through and recheck it to make sure it didn't slide out of position, which is critical for lining up to your entry guide so we have a correct feed. Okay. Once we get this all tight, making sure all five of these are hitting up against the cardboard, now we'll pick up with the forklift, bring it over and set it back into the cradles and put the lockdown bars. Okay, after we get everything set up before we load the coil, we'll put the top covers back on so nothing falls inside there. Make sure they latch and we'll continue on. There you go, tip forward. That's good. Okay, back out. Now the next step is put our stop blocks on and put the pins back in. We'll just snug these up just a little for right now. Then we'll just repeat the process on this side. We'll snug that up for now.